Come on. Beautiful. Let's call it a day. Come on. Let's head back to our place and we'll stop by Chuck's. We'll get a nice six pack and a bucket of wings and maybe I'll build a fire. And, uh, yeah. I know. What am I saying? This sounds more like your son's idea of a <laughs> romantic evening. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you, your husband is much more imaginative. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Um, Nicky was by. I, uh, he's invited Aggie over to their place for dinner in hopes of relieving some of the tension between his wife and their surrogate. Ooh, and how does Bridget feel about that? I mean, she does know what Nick's up to, right? I very much doubt that Bridget would have agreed to having Aggie over if Nicky had told her in advance. Instead, he decides to spring it on her the last minute? But still, things can't go on this way, can they? I mean, Bridget being so harsh to the woman who is carrying their child, it's... Can you blame Bridget for acting that way? No, I'm not blaming anyone, darling. I just don't understand how my loving, forgiving daughter-in-law can't get past what's happened. I mean, it is true. Aggie wasn't exactly forthcoming about herself, but she had her reasons, and well, no great harm was done. Thank God! Look, if Aggie would have just been honest from the beginning. But no, instead she decided to be somebody that she's not. And they chose her to be their surrogate. No wonder why Bridget feels betrayed. I'd feel the exact same way if I wanted a child as badly as she did. And I was deceived like that. Hasn't gone away, has it? What? Your desire... To have a baby. That's why you're so supportive of Bridget, because you know what it's like to want a baby so much. To want to be a parent, to raise a family. I have a family. And you are my family. You're right. I do still think about it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should stop by Nick and Bridges. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Nick is there to referee. Right, referee? <laughs> Darling, I'm kidding. Everything will be fine. Come on.